I feel so very lucky to be owned by a dog. Are you one handsome dude? Or are you because he brings me so much joy. He greets me when I get home. He's happy no matter what I do. He's happy to go with me anywhere I go. And I talk to him just like I would a person. And I'm sure he understands exactly what I'm saying. So he's my best friend. After I left my husband 48 years, because he was so grouchy, and people say to me, don't you miss having a, a man in your life? And I said, I have a man in my life. I have Bandit. <laughs> said he doesn't yell at me, he doesn't boss me around, he doesn't tell me what to do. He's the perfect husband. And of course they think I'm crazy. <laughs> My name is Ann Smith, and I have always loved animals and have been lucky enough to have them in my life ever since I was a small child. I think if Bandit could talk to me and tell me how he feels about his rescue, I think he would say he has a pretty good life. He's allowed to get on all the furniture. He sleeps in my bed. He gets to go in the car with me. He travels with me. and. He he must know that I love him very much. And also he knows that he came very close to dying. After Bandit had lived with me for a while, I realized that he reacted strongly to the sound of gunshots. He makes a sound that he doesn't make any other time, and it's a high-pitched cry that he makes. And I'm sure that he's remembering that time when his brothers and sisters were shot. When he was six weeks old, he was lined up against a fence in Star Valley with his eight brothers and sisters. And the owner of the ranch was shooting the puppies. And a young cowboy saw what was happening and he rushed over and asked the man if he could have the three remaining puppies. And he then took those puppies to Mary Ann down in Star Valley, uh, who was rescuing puppies at that time. And what it taught me was that people do horrible things to animals. The lucky ones end up in the shelter. The other ones are shot or poisoned or drowned. And we have no idea this kind of thing is going on. I guess I would say to Bandit and to all animals that I am really sorry for the way we have treated them over the years. How inhumane we've been to them, how unkind, and I hope they'll forgive us. For people who say that animals have no feelings, that they're just machines, which is what scientists thought for many, many years. They're totally wrong. I think anyone who has been owned by a dog can tell you that they have the same feelings that we do. They feel pain, they feel joy, they certainly feel love, uh, they feel fear, and I really see that in Bandit when he hears the gunshot. A spay-neuter program prevents a lot of animal cruelty. And I feel that if you are lucky enough to have a dog or a cat in your life, or a horse, or a ferret or any other animal. The most wonderful thing you can do is to honor the belief that those animals are very much like people and they have the same feelings that we do. Every animal deserves a kind and loving home and to not ever be cold or hungry or alone. And I think that's what Paws is doing in this community. And I'm so proud of all of the programs that they're doing and helping all the animals and teaching people to be responsible pet owners. Mm -hmm.